Hey guys, Bandier20 back again, and today I decided to do a review for the Super Nintendo called Sin City. It's a great game, underappreciated, not a lot of many, not too many people know about it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a full review. So here it is guys, Sin City for the Super Nintendo on the Virtual Console. Okay guys, and right away, you can select from scenarios, stuff like that, you know, you can go to a city that's been flooded out, nuclear meltdown, uh, earthquake, you know, disasters like that, and you, can fix, and you can fix it all in the selected scenario. But, I'm going to go ahead and go to the main game, start a new city, and it says, and this is the only part of the game that I actually have complaints about. Uh, it's lo it says, please wait a moment, it's loading a, uh, you know, a map for you. And, you know, to go to the next map, you gotta hit, you know, up. And then you have to go to OK, and it says, please wait. And you're stuck here waiting again. It's really annoying, but I'm not gonna go through, I mean, there's like 90, 999 different maps to choose from. And you'd be here all day if you want to check them all out. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the first one. And we'll just go ahead and select that. Yeah, like I said, this part gets really annoying. Go ahead and just pick that one. And it says, enter the name of your city. And I'll just name my city uh, Van Buren. Alright, now you have, uh, you know, different, you have easy mode where you start with 20 grand, medium where you start with 10 grand, or hard where you start with 5,000. Uh, I highly recommend easy, because even with easy, you, you seem that you tend to run out of money quite easily if you don't, you know, pay attention to uh, your spending. Okay guys, this game is just, I, I have so much fun with it. First thing I'm going to want to do is put a nuclear power plant, you know, right by the water to reduce, you know, uh, pollution, stuff like that. Okay, now that's going to give us our power. Next thing I'm going to want to do, you know, of course you need houses, so I'm going to go ahead and just start putting houses. put spaces in between a couple of them, you know. And as you can see, there's little lightning bolts on all the little residential houses because they don't have electricity yet. So what you do is you just go over here to the little telephone lines, you make a line going from the nuclear power plants, and you connect all the houses. As you can see, they all will stop blinking, and they'll start building. I'm going to go ahead and put a road around all the residential, you know, so they have a road to drive on. And as you can see, it's coming together quite well. And now I'm going to go ahead and build, like, a little strip mall for them. I'm going to go ahead and put some commercial down. And this is going to be like a little mini mall that I'm going to put like right here. Then I'm going to put an industrial zone right here. We'll put two of them. Of course they need electric, so you got to make sure you connect the electric. And then you just put a road. police station side by side right there. And as you can see, it's come together quite nicely. I got a little residential uh, apartment uh, type deal right there. Going to have a little strip mall right there, a little uh, police and fire station in the middle, you know, to patrol all the crime and stuff like that. And we got a little some factories there for, you know, like job employment. 
And you guys can see, you know, pretty much, I mean, how this game is gonna, you know, this game is actually quite well, guys. I mean, a lot of people probably already, you know, X'd out of this video because they don't like games like this. But I, I enjoy these games a lot. I mean, put a lot of time into it, have a lot of fun, the city will grow. Right now it says we got 600 people living here. And as the game, as you progress, like, see, I just, like, the little, uh, air points, uh, airport symbol is now gray, and now I cannot get it because it's gray because I only have $9,954 and it's 10000 for that. And I'm going to put a stadium before I run out of money because we all need a stadium. There we go. And as you put it down, everyone cheers and stuff. That's kind of cool. Put a road there. Go ahead and put a, some phone line there for them. Now we'll put a little more commercial stuff. the city's starting to come together, you know, you see it starting to, get the, the house is starting to grow, people starting to move in, and the uh, seasons change, every month you gotta adjust, like, uh, the funding and stuff like that, put some more houses. do when I got some space like that, you can go to your little uh, park symbol here and put like some grass and some trees like right there in the middle. Uh, that's kind of nice. That's what I do. As you can see, my city's starting to come together quite nicely. I got almost 2,000 people moved in already. And there you go. He's telling me... My town population is more than 2,000 people. Congratulations. Your village has become a town. Placing residential zones, industrial zones, and commercial zones in balanced numbers will help your city grow. And it's a really great game, guys. Once your money runs out, you can, uh, like right there, it's not like, it's, now I can build my own house. He gives you more stuff you can build in your city. And all in all, it's just a great city right here. Now I got my house. And where do I want my house? Normally I like to be on a little island by myself. Boom, I'll put my house right there. And I'll just give it electric by running right across the water. And now it's got electric. And then you can put a road leading there to there, you know, stuff like that. And then what's cool, guys, is the city can actually grow to like a, from a town to a city to a metropolis. To where, I mean, this game, and then you can actually go up here and see how good you're doing. Like right now, the voice of the people. Is the mayor doing a good job? 74% think I'm doing a good job. 26% don't think I am. So I'm actually doing quite well right now. And the worst problems they're saying are the taxes. And I actually got the taxes set on the default, which is 7%, which isn't too bad. Uh, you know, all, everyone's going to complain about taxes, so there ain't much more you can do to them about that. But yeah, guys, this has been Game Gear 20. Thanks again for watching this video of uh, SimCity for the Super Nintendo. Uh, it's one of my personal favorites for the Super Nintendo when I was a kid growing up. I have a lot of hours, a lot of fun in this game. Hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, guys, highly recommend the game if you're into uh, building cities and stuff like that. I mean, this game really, you know, started it all as far as it comes to building cities and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, it's been VMware20. Thanks for watching this video, and there'll be more to come shortly, guys. Thanks again.